All right, all right, all right. This is Frank Salinas. Let me know if you can hear me. We're about to get started. First of all, go ahead and chime in in the comments below where you're tuning in from. We're about to get rocking and rolling. This is Frank Salinas with Groove.cm. Comment below in the comments to see to let us know where you're tuning in from. We're about to get rocking and rolling here. Let me just do some maintenance by uh, turning off my ringer. And then in the meantime, let me know if you can hear me and then where you're tuning in from, where you're streaming from. Let me make sure everything's cut off and we're going to rock and rolling. Okay. So in the, in the comments, let us know where you're from and I'm going to put this up here. If you have not done so already, go ahead and authorize StreamYard through this link right here so that when you comment, we can see your name. All right. So, Rick from London, Canada. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for participating. <laughs> we're about to get rocking and rolling. So, uh, if you can hear me well, we're about to get started. I'm going to share my screen in just a moment. And today, we're going to talk about how to use the new integration with T Launch. We actually just released the T Launch integration um, less than a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And we're going to use this training to show you how you can use T-Launch with our, our, our store, um, My Cat Swag. And we're going, to, we're going to sign up. I'm going to show you how to connect T-Launch with your GrooveCard store. And then we're going to do a sample product. Okay. Tuning in from San Francisco. All right. Uh, let's see. Washington State. All right. So we've got Canada in the house. We've got San Francisco. We have uh, Washington all right, let me get a code for Mr. John Garcia, who's in the background. Give us one second. Yes, let's see. One second, guys. I'm going to put on some uh, some waiting room music. One second. Give me one second. I got to give this code to Mr. Garcia, and he's going to join us. He has just returned from his the latest cat cat lovers convention. And <laughs> all right, all right. So we got Texas in the house. We got Sweden. Let's see. We got Chicago. Listen. Uh oh, I just moved from Chicago uh, in January. San Diego, Montreal, Nigeria. Welcome, guys. We're gonna have the awesome John Garcia join us in a second. Houston. That's where I was born. Caroline. Carolyn. Sorry. Tampa. All right. We got people from all over. So we're excited for you to be here. We're um, Mr. John Garcia is going to jump on, say hi, and then I'm going to take over and show you how you can integrate T-Launch with GrooveCart so you can do awesome stuff with some cool products that they have back there. I actually made a, a, a tip video this morning that I, hadn't, I haven't edited on my phone. As you know, sometimes I make tips and I put them just me walking around. And I was going to talk about leveraging the products that T-Launch has and there's actually some really cool things in there. We got Roy Brady from Florida. All right. So we got Chicago, Texas, Tampa. We got San Francisco, Canada. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, using Slingly. We'll, we'll see. Slingly has, if you're a pro member in Slingly, Slingly has its own uh, training modules in there. But, yeah, may, maybe we'll, we'll do a training on Slingly. We'll see if we get enough requests for it. Um, we're going to do that. So we got uh, Chambly uh, QC Canada. All right. I think that's Quebec, right? All right. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, share my screen. Uh, Algeria. Wow. We got people from all over the world here. So I'm going to share my screen. and I'm going to show you T-Launch. So we're just going to get started right from the get-go inside of T-Launch. And oh, we got we got a guest here. We got a very special guest coming in. And you uh, let me know, John Garcia, when you're ready, or you can add yourself in. That's fine. So there he is. Hey, Frank. How are you? How is everybody? Sorry I'm late. Uh, of course, I had to run into a little bit of technical issue, but I'm here. Uh, sorry I've been missing in the past couple of days, guys, but I'm super happy to be here with you today and help Mr. Salinas. I know we're going to be talking about very exciting stuff with T-Scape, with the, one of the newest... Uh, T launch, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, T -launch. T launch. No, let's just get about T, T launch. I'm sorry. Uh, and we're going to be teaching you guys about that. So, Frank, continue. I didn't mean to interrupt, but 
No Hello, problem. Everybody. I'm going to I'm going to share my screen, John, if you could just add it to the thing and then take me out and then you just review if people can hear me. Because last time I Perfect. did it when I was by myself, they couldn't hear me. So I'm no, going to share a screen and then you add me in there. And then, guys, I'm going to be talking most of the time and John will be in the background to save me if I mess up. All right. So we're just going to add the window and then it's rocking and roll. And then you should be able to see T launch once you add me into the stream. And I'm going to put uh, my yep. phone. All right. We are right now actually working on that. So that's perfect. All right. I'm going to exit Skype. All right. Perfect. All right. You can see my screen, right? That is correct. We're can All right. Let's rock and roll then. Let's rock and roll. So I'm going to go into T launch and show you how we can get started. We're actually going to do this straight from the beginning, totally from the beginning. So let's go. So, so when you first sign up, I'm going to log out. Uh, actually, I'm not going to log out, but when you first log in, you're going to see um, it's going to ask you for your email and it's going to ask you to set up a payment uh, setting. So if you go to billing, this is where it took me. When I first logged in for the first time, it took me here. So, of course, if you're going to be doing uh, product fulfillment and selling stuff, you want to make sure you have this filled out. So in this case, I would hit register. And then I would add my card number. So at, the, at this time. We're going to leave out this step because you know how to do that. You go get your credit card or your debit card and you set that up. So I'm going to leave that out. We're going to add it later. Should we actually start making sales through T-Launch, we will add this so that we can fulfill orders. So the first thing we want to do is let me close these Gmails. And let me see here. Let me go. Okay. So we are going to be working with MyCatSwag.com, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect T-Launch to work with our GrooveCart store. So we're going to go here and we're going to go into my products and then POD and drop shipping. And then from here, we're going to click on T-Launch. Click on learn more and then you turn it on. I think we just turned it on earlier and then you hit this cog. And then once you click on the cog, we need to enter an API key. So let's go back into T-Launch and discover where that is. So if we go into, I'm pretty sure, let's go into stores. That's add new store, but we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to go to settings. And then here, we're going to set this up first. But let's go ahead and get that API out of the way. So if you scroll down under settings, under account, you'll see that it needs an API token. So we're going to generate the token. It's generated it successfully, and then we're going to uh, click on this thing, which copies it. Uh, Frank, uh, yeah. we're still seeing the StreamYard.com Facebook link that you highlighted. That might be um, a little bit of a cover up there in the camera. Oh, wh uh, what we'll do is I'll just generate a new one after we're done. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, oh, it's not moving? No, it's not. Okay, let me just... Okay, now I hide it. Perfect. I found it. No worries. Okay. All right, so tell me if you can see me turn this on and turn it off. Yep. Okay, all right, great. So, perfect. So, so we're here. I'm going to copy this, and then we're going to go back into GrooveCart, and then we're going to paste it, and then we're going to save the key, and then now that, that saved it, okay? So, if we go back, and then for this training... If you go back in the T-Launch, actually, we didn't even show the co token, so we're actually good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you up here what I would do, okay? So we're going to set this up for my cat swag. Now, if you're in a country that requires a VAT ID, then you would enter it there. This is the account information. So in this case, we're going to finish setting this up. So I'm going to go grab this from the store, and I'm just going to copy that information, and we're going to fill this out like we should. Okay, and then we're going to say sweet, like so, and then Boca Raton. I'm, going to, I'm taking these little bitty steps just to show you in case there's any doubts. So then we hit save. Oh, we got to hit the country. And save. No thanks. Okay, and now we're going to do the return label. So we're just going to do the same address. Okay, so let's say it got returned to sender because the person's not there or for whatever reason. 
you want to make sure you get the get the products okay so whether that's a a business address that you have with one of these virtual mailboxes or virtual offices or it's your actual home that's entirely up to you uh, for the longest time when I had uh, my last store I had a um, one of these uh, boxes at a UPS store and it worked out pretty great because it was like literally two blocks from my house every day when I'd run errands or something I'd stop by in there and check my mail simple as that okay so if you don't want to use your own address then by all means get a a business address that you can use from UPS or even I think they even have them at FedEx don't quote me on that and then other services like from Regis and things like that so so this is the return label so what this means is if we have a, a, a metal sign that was ordered by a customer and it, it gets there and next thing you know it's one of those places that requires a signature and nobody's there they attempt it a few times and then it gets returned to the address that you have here Okay, so that's how you would use that. So I'm going to hit save. Okay, and then the email. So we're going to put in, if we go to the store, we have support at my cat swag. So I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to put it here. And then look at this. Thank you for your business. Use this coupon code for an extra 15% off. Your order. So, in the spirit of keeping things simple, listen, I use TY10, TY20, TY15. I just keep it simple. You can spell it out. You can do anything. I don't like putting a bunch of, you know, super long, weird codes. I want it to be memorable, easy to remember, make it so that it, it's super simple for them. Okay. So, this logo should be a 500 by 500 now i don't know if i have one so i'm just going to show you what i would do in a crunch i don't know where the main image is i'm going to open this a new window it spit it out so watch what i'm going to do i'm going to do web p to png and i'm going to convert this thing real quick and we're going to do this so you can see what's happening so i'm going to go downloads and i'm going to select it hopefully i can find it uh is this it no it should be the last download that you did in your in yeah your exactly let's see show image there it is so select file i know why because i was looking at the wrong folder all right so there we go all right so we're going to convert this to png and then i'm going to download it and i'm just showing you what i would do so that you can be proactive and then i'm going to go to easy gif easygift.com I really like this one and I'm going to upload it first I'm going to do resize and I'm going to upload that one I just did let's see what size it is okay this will actually fit so well, don't quote me on that this has to be 500 by 500 now I see so let's 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 resize this resize so now this is 500 by 385 you see the problem so we are, uh, let's see, let's see if it'll let us do it. So this needs to be a, it doesn't say whether it's JPEG or so I'm pretty sure this will work. So let's hit save and let's see if it takes it, okay? If it needs to be the exact size, it, oh, it needs to be a JPEG. Okay, no problem. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, PNG. So let's go here and let's say, where is that? Where is it at? Okay. Optimize. Let's just optimize it. I'm going to upload it one more time. And it's getting, it's making me think on my toes here. So optimize. So again, I'm just using tools that I could use right off the top of my head. Uh, to JPG, I'm going to convert it. Convert. Now I got a JPG, correct? But it's not the right size. So I'm going to resize this thing. And we're going to say 500 by 500. It's probably going to look a little stretched. But for this instance, uh, I actually didn't stretch it. It just cut it off. That's okay. For this training, we're just going to use it. Okay. In your case, you would have the right size image created. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you one more way. Watch this. 
we're going to resize this. And I'm just because I just had the idea. We're going to upload this logo. And let's just resize this to a thousand. Okay, so watch what I do. There it is, right? So I could go like this crop. And then I can say square. Right? And then I could crop this. Now, for some reason, it made it huge. So I could do it like this. So I could go like that. And then use it just like that. So let's try that. Let's crop image. So again, it still did the same thing. So we're just going to use the one that I did originally. Select file. JPEG. I did the wrong one. One second. Okay. So success. We finally get it. Save pack and slip. So there it is. Now, in, in the real world, you would actually have it take the time to have it one made that's a perfect square to satisfy their requirement. Okay. But so what is this for? Well, when they get this t shirt, they're going to have a little slip of paper that's going to say this message Thank you for your business. Use this coupon code for an extra 15% off your order. Code TY, whatever. So watch this. I forgot one thing. What did I forget? I forgot the domain name. So I could say visit today. Okay. I can maybe put a, put a space. Maybe put a little arrow like that. Make it look kind of cool. Okay. And then hit save. And then that's it. So again, what am I telling them? Actually, let's take this out. I'm telling them to visit this store. Last time when I first did it, I did not have the URL. So with that being said, we're in account settings. So we've taken care of the account info, the return label, the packing slip. I would definitely use this real estate. This is free advertising for you. Okay, now let's do some maintenance. I'm going to go into my store, my cat swag, and then let's just go look to make sure we have the discount. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and as Frank is saying, that is very important, guys, because whenever you're using real estate that is external to the group, pay, uh, the group card component, you got to make sure that that coupon code that you're using for a message that is going to be printed out either into a piece of paper or maybe printed in the box, whatever facility they, uh, the, the actual manufacturer is giving you, make sure that the code is correct. Is It could be something as simple as maybe a couple of letters or numbers, but let's just always make sure that it is correct and it's working. Otherwise, you'll be losing the opportunity to do that upsell or maybe to actually offer a coupon uh, to that customer. Perfect. So with that being said, let's just see what else we have here. We have billing settings, daily charge limit, disable or limit daily charges. So if I were to go here, I would say max, you could put in here max, you know, $100, whatever, and then save it. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, but you can control what you're willing, uh, what you're allowing to spend. Maybe in the beginning, hey, you don't have a lot of extra income sitting around. You could wait till you start making the sales and then wait a day or two and then pay for the order. I would not wait more than 48 hours. I want me as a store owner. I want that order processed immediately so that you can get it to your customer right away. So premium canvas branding. I'm not going to go into this part, but it's basically same thing they give you the dimensions that you, uh, they need and then they include this as you can see here outside of the box right the logo look right here okay the back of the card and the front of the card that goes out with the canvases so what's a canvas well it's a it's a reprint of whatever design whatever artwork you have this is great for if you're your own artist uh, if you're an artist i should say and you make uh, acrylic paintings or, or, or whatever it might be, you can, let's say you sold the original artwork you had for $5,000, you could then turn around and take high quality photographs of that artwork before you, you know, have it picked up and then sell reprints. And then you could, this is just a little tip. I bought a piece of art uh, about a month ago at uh, this art show in Boca Raton and I bought a uh, reprint of this gentleman's artwork but it was the first out of only 150 that were going to be sold so to me that was pretty cool because i had the first one okay so this is all pre pretty much self-explanatory 
order processing, order hold. So this is very simple. Again, hold new orders for review before allowing. So why would you do this? Well, this could be, I personally would wait 24 hours for me with my other stores so that no one says, oh, you know what? I ordered the wrong size or, oh, you know what? I put in the wrong address because this is what I've seen in the past for people I've worked with, uh, past students and clients, and then even myself, they order it, they get excited, their, they, their phone or their browser has an autofill feature and they end up putting the wrong address and then they contact us five days later and that thing's already went out. So then you're like, oh man, and then now it's up to your print on demand partner uh, they're going to, they're, they're all pretty much going to tell you, well, sorry, we already fulfilled it. It, it already went out. So, you know, f in this instance, you might use the order hold feature here in T launch just to make sure you're reviewing things manually, you know, 24 hours to allow that window of opportunity in case your uh, customer had an issue and then they reach out to you. Okay. And then this one, ignore all products fulfilled by other vendors. So this is important. Why? Because let's say you have my cat swag and they come in through the front buying the sticker. Well, the sticker is fulfilled through T scape and the products here are from T launch. So that way it ignores them. Okay. So I would definitely actually turn that on from the, from the get go. That way, when you look at the orders, it doesn't have a bunch of stuff that does not pertain to T launch. Okay. And then if here, of course, you could put in your password and change to a new password if you need to. And then here you could change the email. OK, so with that being said, let's look at my uh, let's look at create products. So we have let's just start from the top. We have accessories. We're going to go through all of them real quick. <laughs> you got balloons. You got a wireless car charger. I mean, that looks kind of cool. What does that mean? Anywhere you see gray, or this could be, some people might see white. Every, everywhere you see this gray, that means you could put a design there. Okay. We got a monoclip, monoclip. I don't even know what that is. A wireless charging stand. Look at that. I mean, that 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 product itself. And and guys, uh, I, I see that Joe Cordillo uh, saying that, oh my God, this is part now of Groove. Yes, tea lunch was actually something that you've been asking for for the longest Frank Salinas has worked a lot to actually get all these partnerships gone and look at where we are now. Now we're offering a whole different spectrum of products from the regular print on demand that we've been offering. So now you have products that you can actually either expand your current store or you can even create a new store. I mean, the, that, that little gravity, the, the wireless card charger, it's actually a very neat product. A, a lot of people might, might have use for that. And, and yeah. you see, once you go in there, you just pop into the side and voila, then you have a product that you can offer and can expand your, your product selection. So look at the design requirements. Let's just discuss. This is going to be the same for every product in here in T-Launch. Oh. What I like about this, it's very cut and dry. It's very simple. We have product information. It tells you what it is. And then guess what you use for this, guys? This is the ad copy that you're going to push and set up on your store when you add it. Now, some of it gets carried over, and we're going to see that in a second. And then look, but it tells you the design requirements. What does that mean? Well, that's the, that's the dimension you're going to give to your uh, designer so that they make it the proper size. And then you see what it costs for you, and then you see what it costs to ship. So as you can see here, this goes in, into a little bit what I mentioned in one of our other trainings. Most people that shop online, if they do not live in the United States, every single one of the people that shops online, if they're buying a product made in the USA, I can guarantee you everyone knows they have to pay for shipping. And I can guarantee you everyone's used to paying $15 or more for shipping. If they're buying something from the United States, if I'm in Australia, I'm pretty sure 99% of the people that shop online know that if it's coming from the US, they got to pay for shipping. OK, so this, just keep that in mind. These shipping costs. Now, what can you do? Well, I like to include free shipping as a as as a selling point. But the good thing about Groovecart is in the shipping settings, you can say North America is zero dollars. Rest of the world, 15. And that way you cover 
the shipping costs to, to you know to other countries okay so in this case then what are you going to do well we we know this needs to be this size to the t and then we would select image and go from there but we're not going to use this one because i want to use something that i can use an image that i have already and we're just going to keep looking so what do we do let's go back to accessories look at this uh wireless stand this one's again different dimension requirements but it's pretty cool. You can do anything here. What if, look at this, guys. Um, I think by third quarter, we're going to have the feature. I'm pretty sure it's third quarter. The feature where you can use custom uploads to your product page. So in the near future, you're going to be able to offer a store that just lets them put their, their own photo. What if, you, what if it's a grandma with a picture of her grandkids? And she just uploads it, and next thing you know, boom, she orders a custom case. Um, excuse me, a custom uh, custom wireless charging stand. And because she got to upload her own photo, I mean, you could charge who knows, eighty nine ninety five, right? Because she can, she's gonna now every time she charges her phone, be uh, smiling ear to ear, smiling so big she can eat a banana sideways, like Zig Ziglar says. And <laughs> and why? Because you're able to give them something that's totally unique. When it comes to print-on-demand, e-commerce, uh, drop shipping, etc., think about this. Think about what can you go buy at your local department store. You don't want to offer bubble gum, right? You don't want to offer bleach or laundry detergent. Now, I'm sure, sure you could you could maybe find some unique products, but you don't want to offer items that the person can go get at the Walmart, at the Macy's, at the Target, right? You want to do something to where they only can get it from you. OK, I'm going to go down this list and then here these always show the newest products. OK, I'm excited to, to look at this die cut metal sign. Let's look at it real quick. So as you can see, look, 12 inch. So you can see how much it costs you to ship and then you see how much it costs to create. Now, then you can start figuring out your profit. So let's just say I get started with the, the 24 inch one, I think. I've bought like six or seven of these in the past, okay? And I think they averaged 18 to 24 inches. I didn't. I never bought the big one that's like three feet or something like that. Um, so you could say, you know what? I'm going to go with the 24 inch. What does that cost me? 45.50 plus 17.50. So I don't know. Let's do the math here. 45.50 plus 17.50. That's 63 dollars. Well, yeah. So then you can start figuring out, okay, it cost me 63, but this is a high value product. The perceived value on this thing is very high. I wouldn't doubt. Uh, let's, let's just, let's just take a quick look just so to get your mind thinking. Okay. Let's just see what this was. Let's go here. Uh, let's see. This was me spying on somebody's store the other day. <laughs> okay. So now these most likely are light more lightweight so as you see here they're selling these for 33 ah look at this john garcia take a look at this real quick let's go back so watch this so we said the 24 inch is 45.50 and we're going to ship it so it's going to cost us 63. let's go see if they have a 24 inch Okay, select the finish. I'm sure let's just do the, the matte black because that's what I know T Launch does. So what do you see here, John Garcia? This costs 8130. 8130, Matt. that's correct. Okay, is there free shipping? Free shipping. Okay, so let's do 8130. This is just using the A the Etsy as an example. Okay, that comes out to eighteen dollars profit. I definitely would sell it for more than that. But I guarantee you the quality of this one is probably uh, not as good and they're lighter. These from T-Launch say it's 18 gauge steel. And look, it comes in black, red, white, copper, or silver. Okay, so these have a high perceived value. So just keep that in mind. You can go as small as 12 inches. 12 inches is still a foot, guys. That's, that's pretty good size. I mean, you could go all day selling 12 inch ones. Let's see. What does this come down to? A 12 inch one is 41.10. Okay, what does it cost us here? 17.25 and 10. 
So that's 41 minus 27, whatever, $13. Now, this is just one. Never, never compete on price. In other words, just because you sell it, see it selling for one price here, don't think you have to. You can sell it for more. You know why? Because at the time when they find your product, you're the only one in town because they saw your ad. Okay. So look at this uh, 36 inches. Look at this 199. So let's use this one wow. as an example. So 199 free shipping for 36 inches. Let's go see. 105 plus 135. So 140. If I'm selling the same one, I made fifty dollars. Okay. So now, when you start thinking, you start thinking, "Wow, that's not a lot of profit." Well, what if you sell ten a day? Now you're making five hundred profit a day. You see what I'm saying? So don't ever, you know, think the bigger the dollar value, you can, uh, Dan, as Dan Kennedy said, something to the effect: whoever spends the most in advertising to gain a customer wins. Something to that effect. So if you have a big amount of cash uh, left over when they buy and you fulfill, such as $50 or more, that gives you uh, leverage so that you can leverage these ad networks to make more sales. Because we know, John, you could most likely you would agree, right? It's easier to keep selling to that same customer than it is to find new customers. Correct. And one of the things that you also want to do is always make sure and no matter who the vendor is, if you can, and if it's within your realm, to order a sample, order one for them just for you to have it and maybe showcase it in your house. Maybe you have visitors, maybe you have people coming around. It's always good to have something that you own. Like for example, today I'm wearing one of my designs because that's what I like to do. I like to showcase what I actually sell. So the same thing with goes with all these products. If you can order one just to test the quality, because Frank has actually just mentioned all the great options that you see online, but at the end of the day, one of the biggest secrets there is in print on demand or any products that you actually get fulfilled from other companies is the quality. So if you get to do that, then you can guarantee your, your customers that you're offering a solid product and a very, very good pricing level. And I think Frank has, has done a great job with this example. And by the way, Frank, I do have, uh, while, while you were talking, I actually got a cool design for that, um, for that product that you select, the, uh, uh, the, the cell phone holder. So, oh, okay, great. So if, if you want to, I'll, I'll send you the file or I can do it if you want. So you can, uh, you can just take a look. And I know, I know you guys are going to love this design. So, uh, yeah, if you want to, um, are you logged into the T launch account? I'm actually just doing that right now. Uh, I needed to log in into the uh, group account first. Okay, perfect. But so, while John Garcia logs into T launch, I sent you the T launch login, John, through Skype. So, John's going to do that. And in the meantime, we're going to keep on looking at these products. And then he's going to show you a live example. And then I'm going to show you a live example as well. So, so while we're doing that, let's go back. This is always going to show you the new product. So we got the die cut metal sign. Uh, I can't stress to you no, uh, enough how much this, the, the perceived value this is. Okay. Because guess what? This is a, a sign. Are they going to complain that it doesn't fit their body? No. Are they going to say it's too small? No. Are they going to say it's too loose? No. Are they going to say anything like that? No. Because it's a sign. They, they, they hang it on their wall. Okay. So what else do we got? We got the district youth shirt. We got the Gildan crew neck sweatshirt, uh, Port and Company youth sweatshirt, and then the Port and Company youth hoodie. So let's just go real quick to the accessories. We covered these right here, and then John's going to let me know when he's ready to do this as a demo with you. And then, um, and then what else do we have? Apparel. They have the uh, men's shirt, the flowy racer back, race back, I should say. That's a high... I remember when I when I had one of my third or fourth Shopify stores uh, a few years ago. This I used to sell a lot of these race back tanks during the summer. And then we got the women's from uh, the the Bella women's shirt, the Bella women's V neck. Here's a tip for you guys: women love V necks. Okay, not all of them, but I just say based on what I've seen from sales that I've had before, a, a high percentage of your shirts for women are going to be V neck. 
Uh, we got the canvas men's raglan shirt, okay? That's like the typical, like the baseball looking uh, style, right? We got the canvas, canvas men's v-neck, right? We got the muscle shirt, right? We got the unisex, okay? We got the unisex long sleeve, the unisex shirt, okay? So CVC. I don't know what that means, but I think it's a different material, okay? So this is 4.2 ounce uh, US uh whatever this means 5248 heirloom combed okay so this is heirloom combed cotton and polyester so if i go to this other one this is just i guarantee you more cotton you see this this is cotton so i'm assuming this is that material i could be wrong if i go back to apparel i believe this is that material that they make like fishing shirts and stuff out of the one that's like a wicking material i believe so this heirloom combed polyester slash cotton mix i'm pretty sure you could go do a google search and find out if that's what that is okay what else do we have we have the men's tank the district reti what does this mean i think it's uh, recycled okay the reti is that's kind of a weird name but okay 100 percent recycled fabric never re-dyed okay so they got all sorts of stuff here so let's go back what else do we got we have okay we're here we got the district women's shirts so this is what i always do in my case when i sell something i offer them the a, a unisex shirt a women's shirt and a women's v-neck and i let the guys just buy the unisex shirt that's what i do okay you don't have to you can offer a specific men's shirt and a specific women's shirt and then a specific men's v-neck and a women's specific v-neck if you wanted to okay I'm just sharing with you what's worked for me and what I've done. And you, listen, Jim Rohn says, you know, be a leader, don't be a follower. So gather your information and you craft what you learn and to your own recipe. All right. So what else we got? We got long sleeve shirts. Okay. What else? We got the hoodie for, for youth. We got the crew neck sweatshirt. I mean, look how, I mean, this, this is going on for days. We got the long sleeve from next level. We got the women's race, racer back. The other one's called race back. We got the next level. All of these have different qualities and different prices. So it's up to you to decide which ones you're going to go with. And then if I were you, if you decide to go with the district, stick with district. If you go with next level, go with next level. If you go with Port and Company, go with Port and Company. And like John Garcia said, take the time, make some sample orders and place them and let them come in test the quality and then guess what you can do now that you have those demo shirts the sample shirts i should say well you could pull out your phone your handy dandy phone as you know you've seen me walk around town and do different stuff and i what do i do i take the time and i make a little video for you guys the groove card community who's to say you don't put on the shirt and freaking take video have give Give the phone to your to your wife, or to your husband, or to your daughter, or your nephew, or something. Hey, record me in this shirt. You don't even have to say anything. They can just have you wearing it, and then you like unboxing something or putting some stuff in a bag, just going about your day. You record that. You make the video silent, and then you add some music behind it, and boom, you have an, a little video you can use for promotions. Okay. What else we got? We got the baby uh, onesie. In this case, it's called a bodysuit, okay? We got the infant shirt, right? Then we have the long sleeve uh, onesie or bodysuit, and then the toddler shirt. So this is just apparel. I mean, this is, you can see there's so many products. Now, what do we have? Drinkware. Look at this. We got the insulated coffee mug. We got the accented mug, the black one, the magic mug. What does this mean? When you add hot water or hot, a hot drink, this will reveal whatever is behind the dark uh, part of the mug. So that's pretty cool. We got the regular typical white 11 ounce mug. Let's just, I'm gonna show you something. This only costs you, look at that, 9.75 is what it's gonna cost you total. Guess what? Mugs typically sell for 19.95 or more. Yes. So you automatically have a $10 profit, not even counting if you charge shipping. Okay guys, so. This is a pretty good value for you if you're selling mugs. And also, guys, one thing to remember, uh, you can have products from many print-on-demand providers. Yes. So don't you don't have to marry one. Like We have said from the get-go, we use a lot of Printful for several stuff. We use a lot of 
Slingly and a lot of other stuff for different products. Ali Connect for dropping for, for uh, uh, drop shipping products. But this is the kind of situations that we as a company always are looking for. Better deals for our members. And, and I'm so excited because when, when Frank told me that T-Launch was going to be part of this, I said we're all in because the amount of products they offer. And as you can see now, there is just a great selection. And again, if you combine it with the power of GrooveCard and, and the ability since maybe you have uh, an unlimited amount of tours that you can create, of course, every seven days, here is the deal. If you have another idea and the one that you started might not be doing the right way, might not going as, as good as it goes, then you can actually just pivot and create a different product line. You don't have to go strictly with t-shirts. You don't have to go strictly with mugs. You can go with cell phone accessories, like I will show you in a second. You can go with the different things and make it one single product store if you need to. While you get your feet wet, while you get a community growing, you don't have to start putting all this stuff together just to offer a lot of products. You can start maybe with one or two products. Maybe just make it a one very cool magic mug with a very cool message. Once people port, you just do a small video, order, order the sample, try the mug, do a video of you drinking coffee. Oh, look, this is what happens when you pour hot water. It's all about the creativity. And, and I'll show you guys in a second how to create a product because it's the same process everywhere. The only difference is that Tea Launch, uh, as well as Printful, they're very good companies. They're very solid with their products. The quality is very good, but it all comes down to also the pricing. And Tea Launch has a little bit of advantage on pricing of certain products. So let's just keep looking at that. Perfect. I just want to point out some of the things they have, like this, just for, you know, how to get better at using the app. Look, they have a blog where they showcase products and they give you tips and tricks. Okay. So I encourage you to uh, investigate, poke around, set up some sample products. And it, it doesn't even have to be uh, the right design. I would go as far as saying you can go to something like Pexels and just download something. Let me just show you. Let's just say, I don't know, um, design. I, I just typed in design. You could go just download something like, I don't know, this thing. Let's see what size it is. Look, the original is 3600. So I could download the selected size. And then I could go in here and let me go back into T-Launch. And let's say I'm doing this hooded blanket. Well, that, now this case is a bad case. This needs to be 8,300 by 6,300. Well, I mean, we could try to resize that, right? And then you can just use a dummy image so that you can just Im imagine what it's going to look like with that image. So you can see how the T-Launch product builder works. So let's go back to what we're covering. We went over and, and as John Garcia was talking, I was just kind of scrolling nice and slow. Look, we got a camping mug, cozy insulated tumbler. We got 12 ounce wine insulated tumbler. This is the one with the, the you can put a top on it. We got the accent mug for 15 ounces. We got the 15 ounce white, the 15 ounce black. And then we got an instant, a 20 ounce boho tumbler. I mean, look at that. all these different things related to uh, drinkware. Okay. So now let's go to home goods. Look at this. We got the coasters. We got the bath mat, the beach towel, the doormat, the fleece blanket, the hooded blanket, the outdoor mat, the pillows. I think T-Launch started with T-shirts and pillows. And yes. Yep. Actually, yes. Uh, and, and I'm looking at something funny, Frank, that right. I, I just accidentally, as you were looking around, uh -huh. I was looking around and I found that these guys have an area for pet products. Oh, yeah, look at that. There, there, there's only just a few pet products. Uh, uh, and look again, we just, guys, this is actually new for us to a certain extent. Uh, it's new to the actual groove cart. So we're excited because some of these companies we grew up with and, and seeing the, the growth that T Launch has had in the past three years, because three years ago they didn't have these many products. Uh, the same thing with Printful. Printful has actually grown a long, a very large to a situation that they have now distribution points in Europe. So that's why a lot of our uh, group card users uh, select that because they're in Europe. So it is fun to see those products. I was actually going to create a mat 
uh, right now, but I, I'm also interested in seeing the designs for different products. Because what I love about T Launch is that they're very specific to make sure that the product is quality from the design up. And, and, and you'll see when I do the demo in a moment. Perfect. So as you can see, look at the home goods, like we were saying, look, we got area rugs. I mean, come on, a round area rug. I mean, you could make a store just all with area rugs if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you could take one of these things, do a test, do some test campaigns. You could do simple market research ads like page post engagement. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm starting. A, we're starting a new product line. What would you prefer? And you could be a simple question. Would you prefer? Let's say you're you're, you're you have a store for golfers. Would you prefer golf theme blanket or golf theme area rug? Whatever. Of course, I just came up with this on the fly. But what I'm saying is, you could make the make a group card store themed around one thing, and then you upsell them other things on the back end. Look, shower curtains. I mean, look at that. So, what else do we have? Kitchenware. Cutting boards, bowls, maple cutting board, oven mitt, <laughs> platters. I mean, I mean, come on. It's just... we, we, we started sounding like if we're actually going to rearrange a whole kitchen, but but it's just it's just so exciting. Look at those products. I mean, the range of products that they have is entirely different from what we have seen so far with, with a couple of mm -hmm. stores that we have interacted. So now that gives us what? That gives us options. That gives us the option to create another store. And connected pretty much to the same payment, either for the same payment system that we have through PayPal or Stripe or whatever payment you do have. And now uh, connect another store and create as many stores you need. And you, again, you don't need to have a general store because, guys, remember, the money is in the niche. You got to, uh, there's a saying, Frank, maybe you can help me out. Uh, 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 it's something related to niches, but I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I, it's a, I, I, I'll, I'll remember. The only one I remember but, that had something, but well, that's not related. That's that's niches get stitches. But yeah, no, totally no, no. But, that's totally different. I'm joking. No, I, I, I got it. I think to get riches, you get the niches. Oh, okay, there you go. To get the riches, you <laughs> get to niches. That's I, and, and I remember somebody saying that. I, I cannot quote who it was. Yeah. But. It's always good to have a focus. And what we have here is, even though we're talking about different products, because we're excited to actually just key launch right now, is it, it's, it's becoming part of the, of the group family. We want to make sure that you got options. And because we have so many customers in different backgrounds, we want to give you guys the option to select those products. So yeah. now, Frank, you know what? I just realized that we haven't been more than three minutes on camera. So I'm going to switch us okay. back on for a second. And, and actually just perfect. So, because we already have talked for at least 15, 20 minutes of all the great brand, I mean, all the great products that actually Key Launch has offered, but we forgot about one thing. It's about what you guys need it for. Ultimately, the, 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 store, uh, the, the, the store is actually created because you want to create something to actually just help you. And, and obviously, we wanna make sure that these products that not only are related to you, to your service, but you, on the other hand, you have to make sure that it's related to your community, to your following, let's say. And, and now with this, if you happen to be somebody that likes music or, or, or if you're an artist, you can create headphones with your, with your little branding on it. You can create speakers with your branding on it. Uh, if you happen to be a chef, it will be so great to have a cutting board with your logo on it that you can sell and actually just create a little bit more solid branding. You solidified your branding. So now, and thank you, Tina said, the riches are in the niches. Thank you, Tina. I think that's the correct, uh, the correct quote. So yeah. thank you. I, I mean, I was, I was kind of butchering that quote, but I, I'm going to highlight because I it, just, it is, I just showed something just a second ago before we took us out, took, took T launch off camera. There's a thing for tapestry. I remember my nephew two and a half years ago, he bought a tapestry and it was like, it was like a, a tapestry of like the universe, like the solar system or something. And he just wanted it to cover his wall. I mean, you can make a store just selling tapestries. Here's a niche idea. I mean, not even a niche idea. 
or specifically, you could take a store, make all about these these tapestries, but what else can you do with them? If they're marketers, they can pin them up on their wall. Yes. And you could sell custom backdrops to just business people, right? Yeah. Literally anything that Literally. you can imagine, you can actually just make it happen. Like this, the same thing. You could use it for, I mean, if let's say I work from home and I get targeted for, you know, beautiful backdrops for when you're on Zoom and and when you're on StreamYard and you have all these beautiful sceneries and they can have it and they can just pin it to the wall and now they got a beautiful backdrop. You know what I mean? So uh, it, the, the, the possibilities are endless. So we encourage you get in there. Once this training is over, look at all the products. And then especially if, if you have an existing store, what can you add to differentiate yourself and give you that, ah, okay, I get it. Because guess what? A lot of marketers, when they get in and um, they want to get involved with e-commerce, they go straight to drop shipping, um, you know, stuff from AliExpress, or they go straight to T-shirts. Now, can you right. sell with that? Yes, but you have to have a lot of, you have to put a lot of thought into the designs. You have to be, uh, be putting in a lot of thought into how you're going to market that thing. Are you going to have a giveaway? Are you going to get their email first? Or are you going to do anything like that? So when you're leading with something that has a high perceived value or super unique, you now make it easier for you and your store to make sales. Correct. So it, the possibilities, as, as Frank has been saying, are endless. So now, guys, I'm going to just start right now doing a little bit of product that I thought it would be so good with that design. But I'm having a little issue here showing my screen now uh for some reason my my screen recording is not allowed so give me one second it, it wouldn't be um it wouldn't be alive with it so give me a second frank okay, if you don't no mind problem. taking so, over the camera so i'm gonna um show you what else you can do so think about this we have t-launch we have all these different products can you lead with something low cost okay lead with something low cost it's not going to cost you a lot not not cost you but for the the user what can you use to get them in okay this is i was talking about this where john garcia mentioned this earlier you can have orders that have products from tscape and t launch and printful so let's say you lead with the sticker it's got something that riles them up gets them excited do does something like that you can make the sticker your lost leader right you're losing money on the free on the sticker Remember, stickers from T-Scape, not T-Launch, cost a dollar to make and two fifty to fulfill. But here's the kicker: I've, I've taught you this before. Two fifty covers up to fifty stickers. So what if you did this? Write this down. What if you said, "Get this sticker free, and we'll throw in two more for your friends. Just pay shipping." And then you set it up. You give them three stickers, and all they pay. It's five ninety five for the shipping. Five ninety five. You might say, "Well, that's a lot for one sticker," but they're getting three. They're getting one free and then two for their friends. Okay, that's just an angle. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it would work if that design is really popping. So now, what do you do? Well, they go in. You're gonna pay three dollars plus two fifty. You're gonna pay five fifty. You're charging five ninety five for the shipping. You cover your cost of fulfillment. And then you make like five or 10 cents or whatever after merchant fees. But now you got them where they're in your ecosystem. They're in your store. So now you can do what you can upsell them. So if you, if you can upsell them more of the same, so let me give you an example. These stickers I bought on my road trip from Texas, um, leaving Texas, going back to Chicago when I visited my sons. So they bought this sticker free. And then I upsell them more of the same. Now, this is not the same, but it is the same, if you know what I'm saying. It's, it's almost the same design. It's the same theme. But you could do this with, with your designs. They bought this sticker, and it has Groovezilla on the sticker. You show them the same design with the Groovezilla. Let's say the Groovezilla is, uh, I don't know, freaking playing something. He's got something in his hand. Let's say he's a golfer, and he's got the, the golf clubs in his hand so they buy the sticker with groovezilla next thing you know you put that same design on a different product with t-launch and you upsell something that's going to uh, make you a lot more money they bought the sticker for free you didn't make nothing on that you, you bet you covered your costs and now you are upselling them that same design on something that you created in t-launch 
And I recommend if you're leading with something that's low cost, like a sticker, that you do three upsells. If they're relevant and congruent, and if they align with what the person bought on the front end, don't feel bad about offering them three upsells. So guess what? If again, they bought the Groovezilla sticker, you offer them the same design on, let's say, uh, the mug, right? Let's say you let you start with the first upsell. It's a, it's a 1995 mug. You're giving it to them for 1795. And then the second product could be a cutting board. It could be Groovezilla etched on a cutting board. And then the third upsell can be something else, maybe a, a Groovezilla blanket. All right. So you ready, John? Not yet. Okay, no problem. So think about that. I'm going to share my screen real quick. And I'm going to show you some more products with T-Launch. So let's go here. And then, John, you just cut right in when you're ready. So I'm going to go to T-Launch. And so, so again, this backdrop tapestry. My idea was for you, you could make a business all about using these tapestries and, and promoting them as, uh, let's, I know what I did wrong. There we go. All right, here we go. So these tapestries, you could maybe make a store all about tapestries and do tapestries for anything and everything. Okay. It's kind of like when I first taught you about the stickers, I, uh, my, my, my domain is all about stickers and they come in through the front door buying a sticker or getting a sticker free. But then I upsell them the same design on other products. You can choose to not show those products on the front end, or you can choose to have them there uh, in different categories. And let me give an example. I had a store, uh, a buddy of mine, that in his domain name, it said blank bags, like shopping bags or like, uh, you know, bags for women. Well, guess what he sells on there? Not only does he sell bags and purses, he sells shoes. He sells boots. He sells hmm. bean bags. So, but his store domain has the word bags, for like handbags. So don't ever think just because you called something XYZ stickers that you can't upsell and sell other items. It's it don't yep. stop in that. So anyway, are we ready? Yes. Uh, sorry about that, Frank. Yeah, it's just for some reason I tried to share my screen and I recently upgraded my. I mean, I did an update in my machine for. Chrome and all my security settings were completely disorganized and I'm, I'm oh, hooking Chrome. up with a different, but all right guys. So I'm going to share my screen now and I'm, I'm going to just, yeah. yeah, now, now we're looking at my screen. So let me just uh, get us out of the picture so we can get the full picture here. All right. And now let, uh, let's just, I'm going to address a question here because I was, I was looking at the, uh, at the comments and we didn't have a lot of questions per se, but uh, Joe Cardino says, is T launching or marketplace? Uh, Joe actually, is not really in the marketplace. It's within your GrooveCard account. If you have a GrooveCard already created, you can locate your GrooveCard settings here in your uh, products, right here, products. And if you go to uh, print on demand and drop shipping, you'll see all the options that we have now available. And one of those options is actually at the end, right here is T-Launch. So when you click more, uh, then you click on the little uh, gear here and that little gear will take you to um, the settings. And that was a process that just Frank Salinas did a few minutes ago. And you will have to connect and create an account here with T-Launch, which we just did. Now, uh, with that said, guys, I am going to show you how incredibly cool this is. Because, again, I'm so excited because every time we connect with something, we, we actually do something else for our customers, we start experimenting. And I know some of you, are already thinking, what can I do next? But I got to tell you something. Let's just get first done one store and then move to the next. Unless, of course, you have already experienced with, uh, with another store and it's not going the way that you think it, it should be going. So with that said, let me just add a very cool product that I just found. And, and I think it's appropriate for the market that Frank and I were testing with our, uh, our cat swat store. So this is, this is, as you can see, this is the tea launch and I have, uh, we have pretty much all the pets uh, and I believe it's here in accessories. And, and I think this, this product right here is really cool. Uh, and, and again, why is it, oh, let me just come back here for a second. Uh, the wireless car charger. Why is it a good product to have with a very snarky, cool, kind of funny message? 
well, I would say they see it all the time, right? And they're in their car a lot. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So now let's think about this for a second. If let's say you have, you're, you're a very creative person. You want to have a message that it's related to the product that you're offering. So let's just start the design and I'll show you the process. So right here, what I love about this part here with T-Launch is that they're very precise. And I'm going to actually just show you a couple of tips, but at the same time, the functionality that T-Launch has. And for that, I am going to actually maximize my screen here because I got to show you something. Right here is something that I don't want anybody to miss. Download the template. That's right. T-Launch offers you the ability to download the sample image that you want to use. It's not an image, per se. It's just a file that you can drop the image that you want to design. And it's pretty much a, 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 a sample image that you can use, copy, paste the other image that you want to do for your design, and you're done. Besides of the details on the shipping cost, the cost for the product, and the design requirements. They don't have any other design requirements that just make sure that the actual size of the of the file is exact the 583 by 759 and because of the experience that we have had with other brands and other companies i love this because they ex they go exactly to the dimension that it will fit the product perfectly which gives me a very good indication of the quality of the products so now that we have mentioned that so anytime you want to create products just download the templates keep the templates in files depending on, on the product, depending on the company, because all of the companies offer that. But yes. for these specific products, it's always good to keep a folder with some of the products that they have. And, and as I said, it will be easy and ready accessible whenever you're creating for that specific product. And so keep, keep in mind, guys, listen, for the most part, you're going to be outsourcing the design work unless you're a designer. I encourage you, if you're not a designer at all, like me, and I don't have design skills i can do I, I i draw from back when i was younger but i don't have design skills so you use these templates you hand them to the designer so they know what they're working with all right all right so now let's take a look so let's just select the image and and frank i know you're going to appreciate this because you see that's a cell phone charger right mm -hmm. so take a take a look at take a look at this little message right here there you go Stop stressing me out. <laughs> yeah. So this is entirely up to you to make your products. But when you use creativity and when you mix it with the right product, that's what makes a winning product. I mean, imagine your cell phone charger with a really cute message. I mean, in the case for, the, for, for our store, something that says stop stressing me out. Because when somebody calls you, that you don't like, or maybe you don't want to get that call, stop stressing me out. So remember, is it is all that little, all those little details that as 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 um, as merchants, let's just call it that way, uh, as product creators, we can convey to our to our niche, to our market, to our followers. So it was a very simple, uh, a very simple design. That you can get those done anywhere, literally. Uh, there, there's many sources, there's people in Fiverr, there's people in, in, um, in other areas. And I encourage a lot to, to actually do some things. If you have the financial ability to spend $5, 10 $15 to work with Fiverr or with any other company like that, do it. Because at the end of the day, it's a full circle. And when you start helping others to grow their portfolio by making designs for you, then you go around and sell those designs with products that you're going to make money with, it will come full circle. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good karma kind of deal, but it's also a good way to keep the good vibes flowing between everybody around your designs, about your, your industry and your store. And why am I saying this? Because a lot of people, unfortunately, will use designs from other people's stores. And unfortunately, we cannot prevent that. Uh, nobody can. Because at the end of the day, there's always copycats, <laughs> no pun intended here, but there will always be. But it's always good to try to have some uniqueness to the products that you're offering. So right here, I have this design. As you can see, the process is as single as they can get. Once you create the image, uh, and since I did it based on the template, and I'm going to just show you something 
really quickly here. I actually use uh, Adobe Photoshop, and I'm gonna bring it here to the screen because what I did was I just download the actual sample and I just recreated and I added that. I literally added this. This was the, the layer that I, I had uh, the design already made. And I just literally draw. It took me two seconds using Adobe Photoshop. Of course, some of you might not use Photoshop. You can use Canva. You can use any other kind of source or you can get the design. And I'm only mentioning this because something here in the image is had to be exact, which is the image size. You see it's 583 by 759, which is the size that they require here. So this is very important. If you're talking to somebody in Fiverr or in any of those companies, make sure that you tell them, I need this file to be exact, these dimensions. So, and when you get it, just make sure that when you upload it, if it shows you like this, that's perfect. So this is the design right now. This is that uh, that we can do. So let's go to the next step. So let's, uh, I already uploaded the image. So let's go next. So the sale price is here. The cost is 35, that $19 and the profit is 19. So should we actually just uh, do it like that, Frank? And yeah, select yeah, the, the mock-up? Yeah, let's just keep it at that price. Perfect. And so, add a title. What was it? it was a, so uh, you could say that this is, this is the uh, function, not the function. This is the format I follow, guys. What I do is I, whatever the design says, if it has text, I put that and then the product, description after so right and i'm just going to call it as a design stop stressing me now on charger and the reason why i did that is because one it has the keywords of the name of my product and more importantly it has the product it has the phone charger oh, so forget it, the t sorry about that on me out I'm um, out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So it stop stressing me out, phone charger. So it's always important, guys, to have some sort of verbiage between your product name and, of course, your name. So always end up, end up with the product. Why? Because when you are actually deciding to connect those products to, let's say, Google Merchant Center, you can always count or they will request for you to have the product name or some sort of situation. And again, in here, you can actually change your uh, description, the sizes. You see, it comes with micro as you record. So it seems to be a very complete product. So now let's just click Create. Your product was successfully created. And now, now what we have to do. Yeah, we'll go over to Groovecart and we'll take a look to see if we go into the T-Launch app. Right let's here. Refresh, go into Products, see, you might. Okay, hit Refresh, and let's see if it shows up. Typically, what I do is I wait to see the thumbnail um, in here. So let's let's see if it shows up. It's it could be still generating. And then go back yeah, to products. Product. Let's see. So yeah. there, it doesn't have the thumbnail yet. So let's uh, let's wait and see. This is my indicator of what to wait for. So it typically won't take too long. So we could sit here and refresh or we could move on to a different product. So let's do this. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna set up uh, something other than the, uh, we're gonna wait for the next one. So I'm gonna go and set up a shirt. How about that? All right, yeah, let's do that. So we can actually see those two products coming in. So now I'm gonna give you the controls. I'm gonna hide my screen in a second here and I'm gonna remove my screen. All right. Now let's give you access to your screen whenever you can send it to me and All right. I'll make sure that in the meantime, guys, I'm going to actually keep refreshing to make sure that the thumbnails, which is the indicator, as Frank said, it shows on the store. All right. So we're going to go back into the app. We're going to go. Where do, where do you find it? You go to products, POD and drop shipping. Yep. Correct. And then you would find it here under T-Launch. But in my case, you're going to set that up in here. So as you can see here, I was playing around with the metal sign, uh, die cut metal signs a second ago when John Garcia was setting his up. But now we're going to go back. We're going to set up a shirt just so you can see, because I know by default you do want to offer shirts. Don't get me wrong. You don't want to not offer them. If you're leading with something else of high value, definitely, if you can, offer the same item and something as simple as a T-shirt. So in this case, we're going to set up a women's women's style um, V-neck. So let's go with this district. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the preview. And then this is minimum 2,400 pixels. So I'm going to hopefully find an image that has that minimum size of 2,400 pixels. And we're going to go here. And hopefully, is this it? Let's... So as you can see here, the max dimensions for that was 10,000 by 10,000. It, it fit the proper requirements. So there it is right here. So what does this cost us? Well, it costs us 11 plus 575. Now, if you're going to see, you see it's $5 more for double side. What does that mean? Well, let's say you wanted to add your brand logo on the left pocket area. Then you could add your design on the back. It's going to cost you $5 extra for the design on the back. So look at here, art placement, the full print, three-quarter print, half print, left chest. You see that it automatically put it where I needed it. That's pretty cool, right? So I'm going to say full print, distance from top, double distance, triple distance. In my case, I'm going to keep it normal, okay? So here's the V-neck. Here's the back. There's nothing on the back. And then here we're going to choose. What are we going to choose? We're going to choose jet black. That doesn't look right because the actual font of the design is white. So we're going to do a bright white. What else can we add? Charcoal? Nah, too dark. Classic red? Nah, I don't know. I, no. It's too dark. This one? Yes, because it's pink or fuchsia. Okay, and then let's see what nickel is. Maybe. Let's see what else. Navy? Nah. Purple? Nah, maybe not. Royal? See, so you can just go through here. I'll choose this one because it's light. And then we can do light pink for sure. So as you can see, I'm doing white, fuchsia, pink, and blue. What is espresso like? Nah, maybe not. Red? Nah. We're just going to keep those four. And then, or you could select all colors, right? Or you could deselect. See that? Very, very simple. So we're just going to go back. And remember, guys, the more colors you select is great, but you have to consider one thing. You do not want to confuse your user. You don't want to confuse yeah. your video. I would never do this. There's too many colors. Exactly. It's too many colors and the design. And, and this is how carefully you need to select the design just to make sure that it makes sense. It actually just flows with the color of the, of the garment that you're actually creating. And more importantly, if there is a different tones of red, Pick the more popular. Pick, let's say, that pink is great, a, a soft red or pink, and then a couple of blues and maybe a little bit of soft greens. Perfect examples. So with two, three colors, that'd be perfect. And and here's the deal. If somebody's interested in a product and they ask you, maybe through your support or maybe through your email, that they said, hey, do you have this in this color? So you can come back and say, maybe I don't have the same product with the color that you're looking for, but I have this. So when you leave certain things with limited selection, it's all about how you can expand that kind of line between the service and the sales. Like if you don't have that in a specific color, you know that since it's an item in, in print on demand, you might probably have to recreate it with that specific color, which you can do that and offer it to the customer. But it's also good to offer them something else so you can keep them engaged in your store. All right. So let's see here what are we doing we are going to hit continue right so let's just see what we got here and let me hide this so we're going to hit next and as you see this is our profit if we sell it for 22 okay now normally i'm going to update this we're going to add let's just say 295 more oops i think i messed that up didn't i okay let's just go back uh, oh, I see. Update the sale price. I messed up. So we're going to say twenty two ninety five is what I meant. Now we're making eleven ninety five dollars um, per profit, right? Now, keep in mind, you still got to pay for shipping. So keep in mind what some of these shipping rates are, okay? And then we're going to say what was the product name. I forgot what the product name was. Let's see. I'm not going to remember off the top of my head. Let me see. Uh, let me just go to the thing. Cats are my favorite people. That's what it was. Okay. I'm going to say women's v-neck. Just like that. Okay. Let me add the process for here. All right. So, so that's it. And so now we're going to hit create. Now, as you can see, the product description. 
so far on pretty much any product, what I've glanced, the products I've glanced at and I've went to do a test setup, they have the basic description already. Okay. So this is pretty cool because it's saving you some time compared to where if you're setting up um, Printful, you just get the title. Okay. And that's simply due to because of the API with Printful. So T-Launch has been more generous and allowing us to import the product description. So now let's go back to T-Launch uh, inside of GrooveCart. So I'm going to click on uh, products, print on demand, and drop shipping. And then I'm going to go here to learn more, click the cog. And then let's go to products. And as you can see, the product that Mr. John Garcia set up originally, the thumbnail is there. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the store. I'm going to go ahead and do that, Mr. Garcia. I'm going to Perfect. Add, add to my store. This is the same setup as if you were working with Printful. Same setup. You can see the title. Look at this beautiful content that's pulled in from the app. How cool is that? And then default category, we're going to leave it as home and then reassign it in a second. So then we're just going to hit add product. All and right, cool. Sorry, Frank, I'm sorry to interrupt. No <laughs> so, yeah. uh, and and I, I got a surprise for everybody that's actually today with with us. Um, so let's, let's just finish the demo because right now it's uh, close to 515. Perfect. So once we finish the demo, so we'll see the products, we'll see everything else, but I have Something is special for today because I know that we have thrown some information today at you that is making you thinking. It's, it's actually got you thinking. It's just like, oh, what am I going to do now with so many options? So I'm going to make something is special today out of what I just thought it would be a cool idea to have. And so stick around for the next 20, 25 minutes, and I'll show you what it is. And I know you're going to love the idea, Frank. So sure. let's finish the demo. Let's put everything in the, right. in this, in the cart. And we'll tell you about it once the, the, the demo is done. Okay, great. So this is a car charger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new category. Okay, I'm going to call this accessories. And then create. So we're going to assign this to accessories. And then I'm just going to use the tag. Uh, phone chargers. Oops, let me do it this way. Maybe I want to use it later in the menu options. Phone chargers, okay? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this product name. I'm going to jump over to the SEO. And I'm going to put it where it says OG title. And then I'm going to go back to the descriptions. Now, this is, I love this because w what we've discovered is working with the P API from other uh, app companies, sometimes they don't carry over anything. So I love the fact that T-Launch has made it so that we can carry over some stuff that's going to save us a lot of time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, I'm going to add some ad copy. All right, guys. So while Frank actually does the copy, I need you to do me a favor because this is this is I'm gonna try to do something today that has never been done before, at least in the you know in our group webinars here at GrooveCard. I need you to do me a favor. Everybody that is actually on the webinar in the live right now, I need you to put a number three in the comments because I'm gonna do something super special. I know people are gonna love it, but I'm gonna need to see everybody's name that type of three from this moment right now at 519 so i want to actually have everybody that type the number three so let's see who let's see how many people are actually just typing threes right now so let's take a look Okay, great. So what I did here is I just added the summary product description and then I had a very simple upsell description. Should I decide to use this as an upsell, it's just going to say add this to your order and save big today. Keeping it simple. We go back to SEO. We need to put a meta description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this 
for the meta description. It's like that, and it's 294, so there's too many. So we're going to take off this last sentence. There we go. And then the OG description, that means open graph. That's like if they share it on Facebook. We're going to say, we're going to chart, we're going to use actually the same two sentences. So we're going to go here. And I'm going to take off the other one, the last sentence, just like I did in the other one. So there we go. And then I'm going to hit save. And then we're going to go to the next section. So save. Descriptions, we got that done. This is advanced if we wanted to add the width, height, and weight. Okay, videos and images. So as you can see, there's the cover image. There's um, this product in particular doesn't have many mock-ups. That's okay, though. So I encourage you, let's say you wanted to sell this in, in uh, when you order a sample and it gets to your house. You look at it. You like the quality. I encourage you to make sample shots with your phone simple photos to add to the product detail of this product when you set it up so in this case you can go ahead and add the cost per item so let's go back and i'm going to go to see how much that costs again so i'm going to go here create we said it was under accessories what does it cost us 19 dollars is what it cost us so i'm going to put the cost per item here you do not want to mess with this item number the skew if you, if you ended up editing that, it would not match when you have an order and it would not fulfill it, okay? Here's the variant. It's $38. We're going to say it's normally $59.95. And then we're going to hit save. And then next thing, settings. I'm going to leave the default product layout with bumps. The one click upsell. In this case, we're going to say home is where the cat is. Let's see, is there one in there? How about cat? Here for the cats, I'm going to upsell them that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Nothing yet. So we're just going to leave that there. And then related products we could put in there. Let's see, anything with sticker? No. How about this? We're just going to use the same one. In that case, you're done. You go to finish, display. And then you hit publish. And then you preview the product. Look at that. There it is. Nice. A phone mount that also charges wirelessly. The, the Gravitis uses wireless technology to charge your devices cord free. Look at that. Gravity keeps your phone in place while you're driving and charging up. Okay. How cool is this? What I would do is that, I mean, look at that. It looks cool. What I would do is order this as a sample and then next thing you know, take extra photos with my phone. That's what I would do. So as you can see here, we have successfully created a product in T-Launch, pushed it to our store, and now we've imported it into our group card store. And that's good. What you got going on, Mr. Garcia? All right. I'm actually working on something very cool, okay. but Frank, I need you to add the uh, yes. other product because I'm almost done with the list. Perfect. Because guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cat out of the back, uh, and 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 since we're talking about cats, so right. <laughs> I uh, and let me just show you what I'm doing right now. I I just I just had uh, an epiphany moment, one of those moments that that I said, you know what, let's actually start giving back, because uh, I I thought, you know what, why not create something for somebody, and 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 give it out, so. I am going to actually do something for one lucky winner. So since we have now T-Launch coming up with, with new products and, and to welcome you know, the, that, that company to, to us, I decided to do something. And let me just show you my screen really quickly here. Right now, and I want you guys to give me your, your complete opinion. This, this domain name is called coolrugs4u.com. I registered this domain literally 20 minutes ago is coolrugsforyou.com but i am going to give it away so i am going to help somebody right now that's why i have them i have you guys to put the number three because somebody's going to win this domain and the way that's going to happen i'm going to actually put your names in the randomizer 
And I'm going to transfer the domain to you. All that you have to do is create an account in names, namesilo.com. And I'll push the domain for you completely for free so you don't have to buy it. You don't have to do the research. And why did I select rugs? Because I was doing some research while Frank was talking. And guess what everybody has in their house, in their doors? It actually have a rug. And now we have a company that offers rugs. So why not give you guys a good start by offering a cool domain that actually is kind of crazy to remember because cool rugs for you. I mean, and you can create designs and you don't have to do the stress of selecting the domain. So today we're going to select a winner for that domain. I'm actually finishing up. I'm making sure that I'm not missing anybody. So Frank, let's finish up with the product. Let's add the other products while I complete the list. And then uh, to close today's session, we're going to do um, the selection of the name. This actually random. Uh, uh, it will pick a random name, as it says here. So we're going to do it that way, all right? And Frank, you're on mute. I believe you're mute. If not, How about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, share my screen. Let's rock and roll. You actually hide your screen right now. I hid my screen. Let's do it again. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so now let me let me let me close mine. I'll come back to this in a second, All and right. let's just add yours. Perfect. Okay, so here I was in the process. I was going to import the V neck. So here we are. Here, you could change these prices if you wanted to. If you change your mind later and wanted to charge more, and then I'm going to leave the default uh, collection, and then I'm going to change that in a second. So add product, and then you give it a second. And then now the process to add the product has been started. We can go into products here. And we will see it there. So we can do a preview real quick. So as you can see, it's not available because I have not made it live yet. But as you can see, we have light pink, bright white, dark fuchsia. And we had four. I probably, it's probably not done importing okay so let's just do a test i have to find out from the developers what the standard time is as you can see look there it is so as you can see i knew it wasn't done because there was only three options but now look at that okay so now we're going to go ahead and, and edit this product so i'm going to go here actions edit we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier what am I going to do real quick? I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this. And soon, coming in the update, the product name, which is another name for the title, it's going to actually have this filled out just like this. And then the description that we have, it's going to be by default ready to go in the SEO as well and in the description. Okay. That's coming maybe in two or three updates from now. So you're going to save even more time. Whatever you push over, the description, etc. It's going to fill out in the meta and in the open graph information as well as the open graph title. Okay. So now what are we going to do? We're going to see what was the other one. We're going to, we're going to make the same ad copy. I'm going to paste this there. Okay. This makes a great gift, not found in stores. Click the payment button to purchase. Now, how about we just take this out to change it up? Uh, <clears throat> And okay, so I just changed it up a little bit so you can see this makes a great gift. Show your love for cats with this awesome v neck. Okay, and then if I wanted to upsell this product later as a one click upsell, I would want to add some, some ad copy. It says description, but I use it for ad copy, so I'm going to say, uh, order this today and save big okay something something very simple because the whole point is if they do order they are they they are saving because you want to have compare prices on your products so they can see wow i'm saving you know eight dollars or seven dollars or, or or ten dollars on the shirt and then we we have the seo now i forgot one thing i need this needs a category so we got men's clothing. I think we had women's, women's hoodies. So we, so remember the, the, the session we went over categories. 
we have to go back. Uh, we're not going to do that on training because we went over how to make categories. But before we go live with any uh, any actual advertising, we'll make sure to have other categories. In this case, I'm just going to put it in best deals for now. But typically, we would have women's and then underneath women's, this would be women's, maybe women's tops, women's bottoms, women's outerwear, things like that. So then when you do that, you got to select something other than home as the default category. And in this case, I'm going to say shirts for the tag because it is a shirt. It's a V-neck. And then now we're going to hit save. And now we're going to go to the next one. The next section, I should say, step two. Coming down the pipeline in the next few weeks will be product simplification. This menu, the way this thing works, is going to look different, and you're going to appreciate it because it's going to be easier to get uh, up and running. So now we go to images and, and videos, and then we see the images here. The pricing. Let's go to T-Launch, and let's go to my products. No, not my product. Let's go to create apparel, and that shirt was the district's, district V-neck. Well, we know what it costs, what $11. So I'm going to put in $11. Remember not to edit the skew because then you will edit the connection. You will actually uh, affect the connection so that you can't actually have your items fulfilled. So don't, don't mess with that variance. I'm not going to do any, anything here other than add a compare price. So what am I going to do? I'm going to select all. And I'm going to add a compare price of, let's just say, I don't know, let's make it uh, $9 more. So let's just say $31.99. Sorry, $31.99. Apply. So now that is my compare to price so they can see that they're saving money. I save it. Here's another thing. I don't think I, we covered this uh, today. Quantity discounts. Well, if they buy two, they get, I don't know, let's, let's, let's actually be aggressive. They get 10% off. Nah, you know what? Yeah, let's keep it at 10%. Apply. If they buy three, you give them 15% off. Why would I want to apply that big of a discount? Well, the whole point is you're trying to get them to purchase. Okay? And if they buy three, well, they're spending more money. Even though you're giving them a discount, you now have a bigger cart uh, value. Okay? So now you hit save. And then we're going to go here to settings after that. And the one click upsell, what was the other thing called? It was some sort of charger. Uh, Frank, uh, I'm going to interrupt you for a moment. Uh, Facebook user, I've been, I noticed that you tried to put your, the number three several times. Do me a favor, just type in your name because I'm wrapping up the list. I actually have the last uh, people, a couple of people just in the list. Uh, whoever is showing or displaying as a Facebook user, just type your name. Please, the person that just made the comment at 5.30 exactly, the moment that I was about to close the list, she or he typed the three, so I want to make sure that it's fair for everybody. And if you can type your name, it will be great. Sorry, Frank. <laughs> no problem. So we added this as the upsell. I'm just showing you this for this demo to see how you would do that. And then, again, related products. Uh, let's see. Is the sticker there? I forgot the name of it. Uh, to cat here home here for the cats and then we're going to hit save and then we're just going to we're skipping reviews because uh we're not adding any reviews here and then we're going to hit finish display on the website and then we're going to publish and then now let's hit preview once it's done there we go and now you'll see bada bing bada boom as you can see, there was the compare. They're saving nine bucks. They look at that. Oh, okay, I'm saving nine dollars. Okay, and there's a related product. Okay, and then we have the discounts, and then they can choose a different color, and they're gonna say, "Well, I'm an extra large," or you know what, I like pink. I'm gonna get the pink one. Okay, and then we can add this to order, and then go like that. Mr. Garcia, let me know if you still need me to uh, keep training. Or if nope. Actually, we're we're ready. I got right. the last the, the last person as Alex. So right, Alex is yeah. perfect. So now let me just uh, it, it was it was just one of those crazy moments that I thought it would be a really cool idea to share something and spread the love and and get that load off of the beginning stages because I know that starting something is crazy, especially when we have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna share my screen now. Let me just uh, bring it here to the. Now, as you guys can see, there's a randomizer. 
I do yeah. have all the all the names on on. Let me just bring it out a little bit here. I have, uh, I believe it was 32 names. If I meet somebody, no worries, stick around. At least once a month, we're gonna give these kind of giveaways. So stay tuned. So I got Jason, Side Hustle, The Way Miles, Sandro Soto, Christian Tamilius, Tina, Vivid, Adolf, Drick, uh, Ali, Joe, Dwight, Hector, Chris, Red Hot Save, Andrew, Julia, Cespedes, Sakiria, Joe, uh, Roy, Rafesha, Lisa, Joe Carrillo, Kim, Anthony, and Alex. So now, as soon as I press this button, as you can see, it says pick a random name. I actually decided to do this live spur of the moment because I think that if we give you not only the tools, but another step towards what you need to do with our platform is one thing less for you to worry about. And, and I think the name Cool Drugs for you, it will be a great start for a new store. Maybe something that you want to try to uh, create. Uh, if frame uh, Cheever, oh, hold on, if frame, you said I you forgot me. Yeah, did Cheever? you get Judy Ann? Judy oh. Ann. Okay, you see, I'm <laughs> glad that I haven't pressed the button. Yeah, so, Judy and... so in case you don't know, your whoever's the winner gets this domain name. That's pretty cool, of Mr. Garcia. That's nice of him. And then, uh, Ju and then we said if frame. Did you get he source trying. of choice? Somebody named I, source of choice. I believe I put him in the list, but let me make sure that he's not twice <laughs> there. Let's hope nobody joins in the next two minutes because you're going to be here all night. Yeah, no, I actually put side hustle. So, yep, the last name should be, guys. Emmanuel. Did you Emmanuel get and source of choice. So, source choice. Source of choice and Emmanuel. Choice is with a C. And Emmanuel. And you got Ephraim. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And Judy Ann. Okay, perfect. Yeah, All okay, right. We're so we're ready. We're done. We're, now we're done. done. It's close. Uh, somebody says my name is my name. Emmanuel. Hopefully that is it. Nancy. Nancy. Okay, Nancy. That Nancy is the last one, guys. Come on. But Nancy, Facebook user, I guess. Yeah, Nancy, Facebook <laughs> user. Because remember, now, 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 then you have to add. Then you have to send me an email, and then we'll you and I have to have a conversation okay. because a domain, even though, and, and guys, have in mind, I used to be a domainer back in the day. And a domain is valuable real estate. So, and I'm going to put Calvin just because I was talking. But Calvin, you're the last one officially. Calvin Holloway. Oh, now, now we know how to actually increase the members to actually <laughs> spike an interest of getting something there here in our, in, in, our, in, our, in our webinar. So, guys, right now we have everybody else in. I am going to press the button and whoever name this system selects. Let me just do something because I, I want to make sure because this is the first time that I tried that this site. I tried it before, so I want to just make sure that I have a backup here of names so we can actually add them in the event. So give me one second so everybody's clear, everybody's fair that whoever was here today with us and is stuck with us with the, with the training. So now let's take a look. Uh, we went to what we added the rest of the names, and I want to pick a random name. So at the count of three, we're going to pick a name. One, two, three and is going through all the names oh look how cool this is this is nice all right so who's 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 the winner let's see who was the winner i think it's still thinking ain't it oh i hope it works because if not i'll be so it it, it, it started to look really cool but i don't know the winner, oh, the is, winner is anthony, anthony said, simpson oh look at that oh look at that so nice anthony please do me a favor uh raise your hand i'm kidding uh so just do me a favor send me an email to support at groovedigital.com. Put attention, Anthony Simpson, domain name winner, so I can send you the instructions and we will push the domain to your account. The only caveat there is that you need to create an email, uh, I mean, an account with the uh, name silo, but I'll send you those details internally. But this will be actually a, a step less that you have to take. And this is why it's so cool to give back because Anthony, I don't know you. I hope you don't. Well, you, you of course know me for somehow, for some reason, because you, you're you're listening to us. But so this is the way that we should do it. All the raffles, because we want to make sure that it is clear, it's transparent. And I have another couple of things to announce because we have one, uh, one uh, actually uh, uh, another couple of news to 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 announce. So, Anthony Simpson, please do. Contact me at uh, support. I'm going to actually add the address here, uh, right here. Uh, support. 
at groovedigital.com. And just put attention, Anthony Simpson, of course, I'll verify your email, make sure that it's you. And I'll have to ask you a couple of questions. So contact me, or you can also actually also contact me here in Facebook as well. So we can actually talk about how we're going to move your domain to your property, because now that's yours. Now you can connect that to GrooveCard and connect it to T-Launch. Make sure that you start something great. So guys, now with that said, let me just remove this, this cool part. I'm going to save these names for... For, for more raffles because I think I think this will be a fun part to do and, and it adds a little bit of interactivity and an opportunity for us to give back to you guys and make sure that you start. Because I also realize, and let me just show us on camera now, um, I also realize that a lot of people don't take action. And, and the reason why they don't take action is simply because they don't believe they have the time or they're not creative enough or, or they don't have what it takes to actually make it online. So those are limitations. So we're making sure that you guys are doing it and one step at a time, and we're helping you through those steps. And for some reason, this thing is just going in in, in a slow frame rate for some reason. Oh, okay. Can I, I just, yeah, I can hear you, Frank, but it just goes, it just goes really, really slow. So Anthony, uh, Anthony Simpson, I'm just making a, a note here so we can, Anthony Simpson, don't forget to contact us so we can actually give you your domain and make sure that you can get started. Exactly. Right. As I just said, one last word. And also, I had another thing to add because Dwight Perry actually reminded me of something. And let me just bring the comment here. Let me just remove this here. And thank you, Frank. That's very interesting. And now it's great to see that we have T Launch working 100% with OR. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, I, I think he's reported. He says, ha, 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 nice. So, Anthony, I guess that I guess you were selected by the Groove Card Gods, and <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you now have, uh, you know, another domain maybe to your arsenal and actually just get it, and so you can start a new store. So, Dwight Perry just remind me, hey, when are we going to have the new editor? That's coming. And I spoke to, to Max, one of our lead developers, and now this is kind of to close the training. That is coming really soon. I spoke to him, as a matter of fact, this morning. And in less than three weeks, we're going to have the testing. And we're going to select a couple of people to test it with us. So Dwight, you were actually in my mind to test it. Also Chris Domilius, a couple of people with the group family. We want you to kind of just get your hands on the new, on the new uh, editor. And also, I promised two weeks ago that something else is going to be released. And I don't know if you remember what it is, Frank. Uh, the the oh, recurring remember. payments, right? Oh, right. The recurring payments. So that's another thing that uh, is, is actually a little bit delayed. We had a meeting with Max, and we noticed a couple of things needed to be tweaked before we presented. They delivered it. They said, is this okay to actually release it? We, anal we can analyze it. We take a look at it and said, hey, we were missing a couple of things here. So they're working on a couple of more tweaks because we want to make sure that whenever a release is, is actually be done for GrooveCard is done right. Yes. So that's why we, sometimes we take a little bit of time and that is in the whole, in the whole company. I mean, the great mentality of delivering a great product always comes with maybe a delay. And, and we, we know that, we, we understand that as well, but it's because we want to make sure that whatever products we come out with, they're actually the best. So that is kind of the, the last report, guys. Now, I don't see uh, any other questions, Frank. Do you see any other no, questions? No, no. Today, I mean, I, I don't know. If you want to do questions, I think this, if I were, if I were you, I would go and watch this replay and, and decide, maybe make a game plan. What products are you going to add to your store related exactly. to T-Launch? So, uh, so remember one tip with the T launch thing. If you don't see the thumbnail yet, once you've pushed it, just wait because if not, you're, you're going to find a product that it's missing images. So to me, I'm going to find out what the answer is. Maybe we can add something in there to where it says process 20%, 50%, so that you don't like jump the gun, import, right. you know, once you import it after you've done the push from T launch. Maybe the image is gone or it's not there and then you're freaking out. So right. what, what I do, rule of thumb, is I wait because it's doing all this stuff in the background, all the images and all the variant stuff. 
So I usually wait till I see the thumbnail in the section under products, and then I push it to my store. Yeah, and remember, guys, whenever a situation like that arises, try to keep your mind cool and contact support. That's what we're here for. And if you have a question, hey, I just tried to upload a couple of products, just wait five to ten minutes, just refresh, and if you see the thumb, that means everything is okay. It will connect, but remember, sometimes there's high traffic. Sometimes there's some people putting a lot of products, so putting a lot of strain in the T launch or in in, in uh, Printful, in any of our partners. So we gotta make sure that everything is stable for everybody. So guys, I think let's just call it a day. I, I think that we actually. Oh, the only question that I have is somebody said what it was the name of that site. So um, I'm gonna ask. Give me a second, Frank here. By the uh, way, T launch comes to you free. There's no additional price for it. You pay them to fulfill. So we now will will there be paid apps coming? Yes, there will be. Yes. Those people are going to be developing apps for GrooveCart, and we'll have a marketplace where you can go add stuff. In the meantime, we're working in the background trying to add some that come built right in, so that you don't have this enormous bill when you first get started right. with GrooveCart as you right. do in other platforms. So. Right. And, and now, Jason, I, I have to ask you, is that the name of the site that uh, it was raffled or the site where we did the randomizer for for the name picking? Let me just see if he Probably the has... website where we did the picker. Yes. And, and if that's the case, let me show you to you again. And, you know, it's a cool tool if you if you decide to use it. Uh, let me just uh, show it to you here. It's actually called miniwebtool.com slash random dash name dash picker forward slash so that's that's the name this will be also in the recording let me just actually copy it here and put it in the conversation here in the comments so you can actually see that all right guys i think we're going to call it a day it's now 5 46 it's been well over an hour and 45 minutes it's great to be here today uh sorry i missed the, the last couple of uh, of, uh, of sessions with frank yeah John, I let them know that you were at the Cat Lovers Convention. Yeah, so. yeah, we, we had another one in New York, so I had to go there. <laughs> and, and I think in a couple of weeks, I might probably be going to one in, in, in New Zealand, I think it is. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so let's call it a day, and thank you so much for being with us. And as always, we'll see you next Thursday. Right, remember, uh, we changed the schedule. I know it was Tuesdays, but since Groove TV is coming out, the, we're, doing, uh, we're working with a lot of new exciting Things for for you guys. Uh, we decided to keep it on Thursdays because traditionally, for the past three years, we have been doing it on Thursdays. So it will be good to keep it that date. So it's going to be every Thursdays at 4 p.m. So it's been a pleasure, Frank. Thank you so much for today, man. It was awesome. Uh, Thanks, it was sir. a great session. And so see you guys next week, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great one. Thank you, guys.